Hey everybody, it's Jeff with ID10T Garage and I gotta say a huge shout out to everybody that subscribed to the channel. We've made it over a thousand subscribers now, uh, especially Honest Peyton Speed Shop and um, Whiskey Dents. Those two channels were the last couple that got on uh, to make push me over the hump. And the uh, Garage YouTube Support Facebook page uh, so much good stuff going on there. I highly suggest checking out their channels. Um, but hey, we finally did it. Finally got to a thousand. Uh, but anyways, back to showing you guys the surprise that I've been uh, queued up from my shorts. So let's get to this week's episode. Hey, hey everybody, Jeff back here, and I teased that something else was going in the garage, and I put a picture of the truck and the trailer on, so now let's talk about it. What we have here is a 1971 Plymouth Satellite. Now, this is a cool little car, it has some issues, number one, these are disturbing to have in this car. Um, neon green seats. But this is original 318 car. But we have a nice little something something in here. Gotta pull this latch down and boom. We've got a 440 Mopar in here is what I've been told. Now I haven't looked at the numbers yet to verify. It's definitely a big block. It runs, but it won't idle. So it's got, I got to replace this carb. I'm going to probably do that here in a little bit just to see if we can get it running a little bit better. But it's a cool car. Uh, it needs some work. It's got a broken windshield. We got a nice little VIN right here. You guys can see. And what's really interesting is the RH on here. A lot of people don't understand. So it's Plymouth, Belvedere, and Satellite are the start with the VIN code of the R. And then the H is your price code. So it's the high price code. And there's certain things you can get from that information. The first thing is the high price code means this is a Sebring. And there's a Sebring and Sebring Plus. Sebring Plus is a little more desirable. And the reason for that is it has the sports package essentially. It would come with stock bucket seats and it would come with your rally dash cluster. So those are the two biggest indicators if you looked at a non messed with car is this would have bucket seats in the rally um, cluster. Otherwise it'd be a bench seat in this cluster here. So, but that would be indicated by a P price code, performance price code essentially. So as you see here, we have RH. And this was, like I said, originally a 318 car. It's got a new exhaust on it, 727 transmission. It's got some dents and dings, but you know, a decent little driver quality car. Um, needs some new tires. You know, I don't know exactly what it needs. I don't think the gas gauge works on it. So I'll have to check through the gauges and see what works. It's got a floor shifter with the little locking TCI thing on it. But the electrical works. Need to get some lenses for all the side markers. It's, it's hard to say what was done with this, but it starts and fires right up. It just won't idle. So I want to figure that out. And I have a feeling the car's bad. I was running it a little while ago and spitting gas all over the place and, you know, popping and so on. So uh, I already found that the uh, PCV valve grommet is trash. So that's got to be replaced. I actually plugged all the vacuum lines just to see if that might be why it wasn't idling. That was not the case. So, but yeah, just kind of wanted to come out here and give everybody a look. So this is what's what's going to be hopefully my summer driver. I don't want to do a whole lot of work on it. Um, I just want to drive it around for the most part. So I've got to get it tagged and titled. Uh, the, also the radiator started leaking after we put it on the trailer. 
so it might have punched a hole in the radiator somehow so we'll have to check that out but i mean it's originally a ac car interior you know is suitable i mean it's nothing special got some holes dash pad is tore up got a hood scoop um that needs to be painted before we put it back on but got a hood scoop might look cool on there so but yeah original uh <coughs> shift on the column obviously it's got an aftermarket steering wheel blue interior originally it's hard to see but this has been painted you can see a couple specs here and there i haven't checked everything out yet um i don't see heater controls uh the radio has been replaced by little gauges so i need to oh yeah that's right heater controls are over there so i need to check to see if that works uh you know just go through the system in general um because it'd be cool even though it's not hooked up maybe i have the fan the what the fuck is that? Now that's curious right there. I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. So I'll definitely be doing some investigating there. But anyways. That's really it. Just wanted to show you guys this before I get to work on it. Talk to you later. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card never changed